Come on, Ben. What you got? Come on, Benjamin. Oh, Ben's dead. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another video. Welcome back to Imola for some more Assetto Corsa Competizione. Now, since I've kind of sorted out a few things, I've been putting quite a bit of practice in tinkering with the setup, trying to actually be a little bit more competitive. So in this race, we're driving the BMW M4 GT3. I have tinkered and the car doesn't feel too bad. Now I have qualified for this one, P13, not great, but these guys are super fast to be fair. But P13 with a 142.187. But also in this race is my good friend and traction Course streamer Ben McConnell, aka Raggy. He's qualified right alongside us. So at any point during this video, if you do like it, please remember click on the like button. And if you want to see more, please consider subscribing. So 25 minutes around Imola and the BMW M4, trying to be a lot more competitive. But the main objective is to be Ben. Stay double five. There we go. Right, time to see if tinkering with the setup helps. Let me know if you think it looks better as well. I've turned off DLSS. I couldn't cope with it. It was driving me mental. So I've turned it off. Yes, we've lost a little bit of performance, but I think it looks better. I don't know why people drive through you at the start. Like, just... Stay behind the car in front. That does me nothing. I don't want to get a penalty for uh, not being in position. I've done that before. So I've just messed around with the dampers. The uh, high speed compression damping. Just to try and make it a little bit easier on the curbs. The BMW feels quite good. I went quicker on my last lap in qualifying, but um, I got a little off track thingy, so it didn't count. Green light, go, go, go. There's a big arrow pointing left there. I hope I didn't get a penalty. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Well, right in front of us there is Raggy from Traction. A little bit cheeky there, Raggy lad. He's got places to be, obviously. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Woo. Squeeze through there. Right, Ben, let's see what you got. Saying that might not age well. But Ben's quick. That name behind doesn't inspire confidence, does it? So the Audi, I've been told, is a bit of a missile on the streets. A bit overpowered. Let's see. Yeah. But it's pretty quick. But we're staying with them. We're staying with them.
We're staying with them just. Was well wide. I thought I'd taken too much curb over the second one then. Right, can we stay in front? Car on the right. Clear on the right. Come on, Ben. What you got? <laughs> Come on, Benjamin. Oh, Ben's dead. Oh, I feel kind of bad. Did I? Did I put him in a position of danger? We overtook him. We overtook him. Legit overtake. Alright, Mr. Donaldson next. What can we do? What can we do? Nothing if we do that. Don't want to get a penalty. Yeah, I expected that. So there's no pressure from behind now, which is good. Just eyes forward. I reckon, you know, P7 might not be off the cards. Depends how quick Dara is, though. Is it Dara? Yeah, it is. We need to be well into the 42s, though. Nah, I think he's going to pull away, I think. I'm competing now though. I do, I feel like I'm competing. Making those setup changes did make a big difference. Ah, oh, it's gonna be another cut in it. The warning. No, no time gain. I need to increase my brake bias just for that section of the circuit, I think. Lost quite a bit of time there. Dang! See if we can get that time back. So I think we were 0 0.9 behind him, I think, when that happened. Yes, I know Jimbo. And he's dropping a 42.6. That's where we need to be. Good 42s. Should be doable though.
no reason why not. All right, increase the brake bias a little bit here, I think. To 53. Took half a second out of him. What? Two now. Holy cow. Must be a reasonable lap. Well, point four seconds quicker than him that lap, I think. Ish. And so he's done a forty-two five, forty-two two. No, not quite. We get close enough, might be able to put the pressure on. Break bias back up to 40, uh, 53. That's her. We're on him now. He's not hanging around though. Where we're going to get it done though. Exit of the second chicane, maybe. We can get a good run out of there. Oh, that's not good. A little bit of draft now, though. Almost worked.
The guys are far enough behind us that they're not going to really catch up unless we battle from now until the end of the race. So we should be able to have a bit of a ding dong here. Not really had a proper good scrap in ACC yet, so hopefully this will be a good one. Don't want any more penalties, that's what we don't want. Oh, I think Mr. Donaldson's done, I think. the brake bias back there. So the guy in front, 42.6. Well, we can try and chip away here. We've got clear track. Let's see what we can do. Nine minutes to go. Four point two seconds the gap. Sloppy with the transition there. not done though, he's still there, he's not done. What two five from the guy in front, nah, we just matched him, or slower even.
little bit better. I don't know what I was doing there, I was nowhere near wide enough on entry there. Over six minutes to go. I'm starting to make the odd mistake now. Well, I've making, been making mistakes through the whole race, but more so now. So, I'll see what Dara does. 43 2. 42 4. You took a chunk out that lap. Track up warners and then a drive through. This isn't it. So we don't get one on the third, it's the third one, then the drive through. Right, so we're banging it in the low 42s consistently now, I think. Which is good. But with only two, three laps left, well, there's not enough time. Changing the brake bias on the fly has really helped. I've not really done that in ACC before. That's really helped. Makes things tense. The last five minutes, two minutes, whatever it is. Oh. That seemed harsh, that one. I agree with the other two. Well, the first one, the middle one, I didn't agree with. First one was, I was banged to rights.
It's from this section onwards, isn't it? Where the track limits are a pain in the backside. We're probably going to lose a bit of time on the next couple of laps because of that. Just if I go off, I'll just have to slow right down so I don't get any penalty for gaining time. Right, one more lap. Nine litres of fuel, so we did put too much fuel in. But I'm happy with my pace, I really am. We're not there where those guys are at the sharp end, but you know, I suppose we're towards the, the top of the mid pack, I think. Which I'm really happy with. Because these guys are like proper fast, like, you know, these guys are really quick. have dropped back quite a bit. Again though, really, really enjoyable race. Really, really enjoyable race. So we'll put 50 litres in. Let's see how much we've got when we cross the line. Just run over next time. Happy with that though. P8. Don't know where we started, I can't remember now. But we're up a few. So across the line, 5.7 litres. So we could probably get away with 48 just to be on the safe side. Happy days, though. Good race. Need to lie down. Right, so we'll just have a look at what happened to Ben. So this is the overtake, the incredible overtake, I should say, that we did on Ben. Left him nowhere to go, but then we had Mazza spin behind. And you know when a name kind of makes you nervous? Well, that's what he was doing to me. I could have given Ben some draft down here, but I didn't want to go wide and give the other well, BMW a chance to send up the inside. And Ben stays in front around turn one, but then he just gets punted in round turn two. Thankfully, he kept it on track almost, or rejoined pretty quickly, but dropped probably half a dozen, six, seven places on the back of that. But a bit of a shame because I was looking forward to a nice battle with Ben. Okay, so let's check out the results. So there were three splits for this race. This was the top split, strength of field 1,953. So Alexander got the win, Joris P2, is that how you pronounce it? And Matteo P3. We finished P8, car number 13, started P13, up five positions. Fastest lap, 42.3. So yeah, I'm a bit off these guys up here, but really happy with my pace during the race. We gained 39 on our ELO and 0.22 on our safety ratings. That takes us up to... 1,851 on our ELO and 5.64 on our safety rating. So who was the biggest winner? So we've got a 70 there. 
I think it is the race winner, Alexander. He gains 70. And the biggest loser is going to be Emre, who finished dead last. He lost 86. So there we go, P8. Really happy with that result. Again on our ELO and again on our safety rating. I did feel a lot more competitive in this race. I'm not where I want to be, which is towards the sharp end. Those guys are a little bit too quick for me. I need to either make some adjustments on the setup or just get good. But we ticked off the main objective in this race, and that was to beat Ben. So Ben's a seasoned ACC driver, and we just spanked him. So please remember, if you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching. See you later. Cheers.